as well. Um, but I need your help. Uh, if you can all now take out your phones. Because I, I need your help. So please take out your phones. Put it on video. Uh, I'm going to stand here because I want everyone to see where I'm standing. I want everyone to see where we are. So everyone, please take out your phones because I want this message to get to every parent who sent their kids to Columbia University and trusted their kids and their children's safety with us. I want this message to get to every parent in America who sent their kids to NYU, to Harvard, to Stanford, to Berkeley, and I want you to know one thing, we cannot protect your child. And I'm not saying this as a professor, I should introduce myself. My name is Shai Davidai. I am a professor at Columbia Business School. I am Israeli, but before all of that, I am a dad. I have two beautiful children and I'm talking to you. I'm speaking to you as a dad and I want you to know we cannot protect your children from pro-terror student organizations because the president of Columbia University will not speak out against pro-terror student organizations because the president of Harvard University, because the president of Stanford, because the president of Berkeley, they will not speak out against pro-terror student organizations. Last Saturday, 14 U.S. citizens were kidnapped into Gaza with 200 other Israeli, French, German, and other nationalities. 14 citizens of the U.S. are right now kidnapped in Gaza. And yet the president of the university is allowing is giving her support to pro-terror student organizations. I have an amazing seven-year-old son. Every night before I tuck him to sleep, we read a chapter of Harry Potter. And yet, to the students, to the pro-terror student organizations at Columbia, my seven-year-old son is a legitimate target of resistance just because he's Israeli. I have a two-year-old daughter, a feisty two-year-old daughter. She has two songs that are her favorite, Baby Shark and Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. And yet, to the pro-terror student organization on campus here and at Harvard and at NYU and at Stanford and at Berkeley and at Northwestern, my two-year-old daughter is a legitimate target of resistance. That is what they are selling. You are allowed to murder and kidnap my two-year-old daughter in the name of resistance. And none of the presidents of universities all around the country are willing to take a stand. This is what cowards do. And I'll name it now. President Minush Shafiq of Columbia University, you are a coward. Because if President Biden can come up and say, no, this is unacceptable, this is inhumane. And if Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, is able to say, this is not okay, then where are you, President Shafiq? of Columbia University. We are waiting for you to eradicate all pro-terror student organizations from campus. Last week, last week, we had thousands of students chanting pro-terror songs that are sung right now in Iraq, in Libya, in Yemen, in Afghanistan. They were singing this not in Gaza, not in Afghanistan, here in New York City. 
And this is the school that you want to send your children to? They were celebrating the rape of teenage girls in a music festival in the name of resistance. They were celebrating this. And the president of the university is allowing these pro-terror student organizations to march on our campuses. They brought a building here of the Jewish, the Center for Jewish Life had to go on lockdown. Not in Gaza, not in Tel Aviv, here in New York City because of this quiet, this cowardice of the presidents of NYU, of Columbia, of Harvard. And I'm telling every parent in the United States, it does not matter if you're Jewish or Christian or Muslim or Hindu or Buddhist or an atheist like myself. Rape is never okay. Right. Not as an act of resistance, not as an act of revenge. Rape is never okay. And if I, if my amazing two-year-old daughter was now 18 years old, I would never, never send her to Columbia. Not because it's not a great institution, it's an amazing institution, but because I know that she will not be protected there. Because the president of the university allows pro-terrorists to march on campus. We would never allow, never allow the KKK to march on our campus. We would never allow a pro-ISIS demonstration on our campus. Can you imagine in the city that had to endure 9-11, the worst attack on American soil? Can you imagine but here, we have pro-terror student organizations. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go on social media. I want you to put this video online. I want this to get to every, to every parent, every concerned mom, every concerned dad in around the United States. And I want you all tomorrow morning to call your kids college your kids' university, and ask them one simple question. Will you protect my child from pro-terror student organizations? And if your kid is not yet in college, but you are a concerned parent or a concerned grandparent, I want you to call your senator, your representative in Congress, your governor, your mayor, and I want you to ask them, are the colleges in my city, in my state, who are funded by taxpayers' money, are they harboring pro-terror student organizations? Because kidnapping nine-month-old babies is never okay. Rape is never okay. Murdering 89-year-old grandmothers who have Alzheimer and do not know what is going on. Shooting them in the head, sorry, executing them. It's never, never, never okay. I'm sorry I'm getting emotional. I'm only emotional because I am a parent. People have asked me in the past few days, are you not afraid to speak up? You're putting your job on the line. You got it all wrong. I am not afraid to speak up. I am speaking up because I'm afraid. I am speaking up because I walked onto my own campus, the place that's supposed to, that is employing me and supposed to keep me safe. And I was shivering. I am 40 years old and I was shivering to come to my own employment. Imagine not being able to go to your work because your boss does not value your life because your boss supports pro-terror organizations. Thank you very much. Thank you.